2016 is the year of the controversial billboard. It makes you do a double take. It makes you want to snap selfies. I wanted to come and get a look at it and see for myself before it disappears. This billboard, Donald Trump kissing Ted Cruz, went up on the West 25th Bridge Thursday. That's hilarious. That is hilarious, but I miss the days when billboards were just for injury attorneys and cracker barrels, not political statements. I'm not one for hot takes, but hot take, billboards suck. In 1965, Lyndon Johnson signed the Highway Beautification Act. He and First Lady Lady Bird Johnson wanted to plant flowers on the highway and make things look nice. And that's why they hated the powerful billboard lobby. I've never seen such a goddamn group of selfish, eager hogs. Wow. Despite the Johnson's hard work, outdoor advertising is now a $14 billion industry. And we've got a new politically charged billboard controversy every other week. People are not happy about what was on a billboard in Indiana. It read, hate cops. The next time you need help, try calling a crackhead. Just like any other billboard, it's lit up clear as day, easy to spot along A1A. A message critical of Islam. An Italian restaurant in Albuquerque, New Mexico has come under fire for putting up a billboard slogan with the pun, Black Olives Matter. To be fair, not everyone hated that last one. As Lori put it on Facebook, As a regular patron for many years, I appreciate a little humor and I love olives. Now's not the time, Lori. Billboards have suddenly become 10 foot tall YouTube comments. Anyone can post them and cry, freedom of speech. You try to ignore them, but every so often one catches your eye. Congressional candidate Rick Tyler says he stands by his decision to create the billboard that says make America white again. As far as the uh, putting up of a billboard like this, you know, this is First Amendment 101. Yeah, like Thomas Jefferson once said, I don't know what highways are, but Americans should have the right to post large signs promoting $5 submarine sandwiches and adult bookstores at the next exit. Also, everyone should own a semi-automatic weapon. Tyler says the comment is not meant to be racist. Uh, as far as things being offensive, hey, get over it. Uh, the world is offensive. There are things that offend me. Yeah, like progress. Billboard fun fact. Four states have already banned them. Alaska, Hawaii, Maine, and Vermont. Take a drive through Vermont and you may notice what's missing. I was pleasantly surprised. There are no billboards here, not even on the biggest roadways. Maybe we should all follow Vermont's lead so we can avoid situations like this. Wherewhitepeoplemeet.com This billboard is causing a lot of controversy all across the country. People ask why, I say why not. Is he still looking for an answer? I'm available to say why not. Ironically, billboards tell us all where to exit, but maybe they should be getting off the highway. This is your mic check.